uh, that only further expose uh, the condition of the health infrastructure, cases of medical apathy that are now being reported here. Two COVID patients who died outside a hospital after they were being denied admission, they were being denied treatment here. While uh, one of the patients there died on a motorbike after he was refused a bed from a hospital, another patient breathed his last right at the gate of a hospital as he was denied admission as well, also having been denied oxygen. Let's get you details in both of these cases here. Uh, a worrying video, in fact, uh, viewers' discretion is advised here in this. COVID patients that are being seen treated at an orange farm. This is coming in from Agar Malwa district of Madhya Pradesh. And there is no arrangement of beds, medicines or even electricity there in the rural area. Unlicensed practitioners, practitioners now are operating. They're treating patients in a field which is next to a highway. The patients, in fact, say that they fear admission, which is why they're not going directly to hospitals. In fact, are using the services, services of these unlicensed practitioners instead. Uh, they're seen lying on sheets with saline drips that are hanging from trees. So they're literally receiving treatment by lying under the trees. There is no social distancing here. People are roaming about even without masks. Uh, Non-COVID patients there are seen approaching the same doctor. Staying with Madhya Pradesh, this is what's coming in from Gwalior. Uh, this is regarding the stigma and fear which is associated with COVID that has given rise to a disturbing trend here. Relatives of a family refusing to collect the remains of the patient even after cremation. Amidst the rising death toll here, some ashes and bones that are being dumped into dustbins no one's, no family member agreeing to go ahead with the final uh, chapter of the final rites there. The city's civic body will now arrange for proper immersion in order to ensure here that the deceased are recorded with dignity in death. Uh, this is being entirely abandoned by fi family. Our correspondent Govind is getting us further inputs here. Govind, we were first hearing of uh, family members uh, afraid of going ahead with the cremation rites, but now they're not taking in the ashes either for immersions. Absolutely, this is what we can understand, a kind of uh, insensitive apathy of family members that they are even refusing to collect the remains of all those uh, bodies which were COVID-19 and uh, they were committed uh, in that pro uh, protocol. That, that is why the municipality, uh, lo uh, local municipality uh, employees have to just uh, dump this uh, whole uh, uh, pieces uh, of uh, uh, the bones uh, and the remains of those uh, uh, there, and they are being collected in dustbins. So this is quite of insulting one, but we can understand that this is not here, even in Madhya Pradesh, many parts where uh, even in Bhopal, if we talk about the parents of those who have uh, lost their own uh, uh, siblings uh, due to COVID-19, they are themselves not getting the ashes of uh, uh, after the cremation and the same kind of situation there in um, Gwalior, where the remains of uh, dead bodies are being uh, collected in the dustbin, which is quite of insensible. So that is what we can understand, a kind of insensible uh, mm -hmm. apathy of family Absolutely. But, but, but Govind, are authorities making a, any arrangement for this? That's why they are themselves making the arrangement and they, uh, they are themselves making the arrangements for the immersion of uh, those ashes which were collected from the bodies of corona um, uh, uh, cremated in the different part of that crematorium. So this is what uh, after the refusal of uh, uh, the uh, relatives and the uh, parents of uh, uh, those who have died uh, in corona, uh, COVID-19. So now the officials and uh, the, uh, the employees of uh, uh, municipal corporation themselves arranging to immerse uh, uh, those uh, remains of uh, that COVID bodies. COVID, many thanks for getting us those updates here. And this one's coming in from uh, Bengaluru in Karnataka, a video of a woman who's uh, pleading for the requirement of a